Hello class, welcome back to our online discussion in thesis writing. So in this video, I'm going to discuss on how to compute the weighted mean. So I have here the example. We have table 2, level of satisfaction of guests uh, on the housekeeping standard practices. So we have here indicators, weight, uh, weighted mean, and the description. So these are the descriptions. These are the weighted mean. And then this is the overall mean. And this is the example of indicators, housekeeping services, cleaning and preparing rooms, customer service. So these three are the indicators. And under the indicators, we have items. So in housekeeping services, we have six items. Under the cleaning and preparing rooms, we have six items. Under the customer service, we have five items items so now the question is how to compute the weighted mean how we come up with the 3.60 so I believe that you are already done um, collecting the data from your respondents so I will present to you on how to compute the weighted mean using the Excel Microsoft Excel so here in this column we have respondents we assume that we have 25 respondents respondents 1 to respondents 25 and then for the table 1 we have here six items in housekeeping services indicators so I present here six items in the um, housekeeping services indicators so assuming that the respondents 1 answered 4 in the item number 1, respondents 2, we assume that he or she answered 3 in items number 1. So this one, item number 1, item number 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, how are we going to compute the weighted mean using the Excel? So it is simple. You will just type equals and then type average and then open parenthesis and then you will drag uh, start here in C2 okay C2 down to C 26 26 okay come uh, from respondents 1 to respondents 25 and then you will click enter so you will come up with 3.60 so that is the weighted mean in item number one 3.60 3.60 in item number one okay so if we will use a calculator instead of excel you'll just add all the responses of the respondents so we will have an example here 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 Okay, so on and so forth. So you will just add all these um, responses of the respondents. So we will assume that the these are the answer of the respondents. Okay, so uh, I'll just add this one. For manual, you will just add everything. So if we will add all the responses of the respondents, 25 respondents, so we have total of 90. Okay. So if we will allo add all of this, we have 90. Now to get the weighted mean or the average, you will divide the 90 to the 25 respondents because we have total of 25 respondents. We will divide to 25. Okay. 
90 because this is the total of the uh, responses and then you will divide to 25 and then click enter you will have 3.6 so we have 3.60 weighted mean okay i'll just uh we will just have a recap type equals average open parenthesis and then you will drag from c2 to c26 and then you will click enter you will have 3.60 so you will input here 3.60 in item number one so same thing that you're going to do in item number two item number three four five and six so the question is how to put the description here so you will just uh, go back to the chapter one of your paper so under the resource instrument you have a guide here we have range categorical response or the scale here and we have interpretation so in item number one we have 3.60 3. Point, we have 3.60 so you will just look to the guide in the research instrument so 3.60 is under in the very satisfied categorical responses okay because the 3.60 uh, is in the middle of 3.26 to 4.0 So according here we have very satisfied in the categorical response so in your table you will type very satisfied okay so this is uh, this is how to compute the weighted mean now if you have already input the weighted mean in every items you need to know or determine the overall mean on this particular indicators so what you are going to do is same thing you will just add 3.60 3.40 to 3.56 and then divide to 6 because we have six items here so I will give you an example here 3.60 plus 3.40 plus 3.60 plus 3.44 plus 3.60 plus 3.56 so I add all the six uh, weighted mean in the housekeeping services indicators so when I add all of this we have 21.2 then we will divide to six because we have six items in the housekeeping services indicators six items okay and then we'll click enter we have 3.56 so we will have overall weighted mean of 3.53 so the 3.53 is also under the very satisfied categorical response so we will input also here very satisfied so this is uh, the strategy or technique on how to compute the weighted mean so if you have any questions just drop on in our group chat i hope that uh, this video is very informative bye bye